Hi, my name is Paige Bartley. I'm a senior analyst on the data AI and analytics team at 451 Research, part of S&P Global Market Intelligence, and I research data management. So we look at some of the trends due to COVID-19. Retail and commerce are really some of the industries that are hit hardest right now, and they're looking at a reduction in customer demand, number one, and also a reduction in access to their customers. So if you think about maybe, you know, your corner store or little pizza place that you like, they're seeing a reduction in visibility. Normally you might walk past them on your way to the grocery store and these places are not getting some of the organic traffic and, and visibility that they normally would. And to deal with that, really data management comes into play because these organizations now have to understand everything that their customers need and want in these times and how those needs and desires have shifted and changed. They can't just rely on that organic visibility anymore. So organizations really need to have that full view of their customer and understand how to increase that visibility and perhaps reach their, their customers in new channels and new ways to, to engage them and remain top of mind in these times. Right now, it's really difficult to not get caught up in the flashy solutions. So as organizations today are looking for quick fixes, it's it, it's a time of duress for a lot of businesses as they struggle to get through um, an economically turbulent time. And organizations are looking to improve those business efficiencies, looking for really quick wins with their technology that they're implementing. But as organizations look to do that, they really need to focus on fundamentals before you get to those quick wins. And the fundamentals frequently are data management. And it may not be as glamorous in some cases, but it's really the basics that need to be focused on. It, it, getting your data in order is what really results in those downstream uh, successes, whether that be self-service analytics or data science, whatever it may be. It's the quality of that data and the integrity of that data that fuels the downstream outcomes that result in those business insights. And to do that, organizations often have to prioritize. You have to be realistic. Maybe in these situations, it's not going to be practical to boil the ocean, to, to manage everything perfectly from day one. This is a time that maybe it's, it's more practical to look at your crown jewels. You know, look at what is your most important data that fuels your business, that's it's really going to make the highest impact to, to manage. And in many cases for organizations, that is their customer data. How do you get that complete view of the customer and ensure the integrity and quality of that data so that then downstream insights can benefit from that? One of the outcomes of the COVID-19 situation, and perhaps a little bit unexpectedly, is that there's been an explosion of shadow IT. And this has happened as organizations and software vendors have released data sets and software uh, for free for organizations around the world to use to assist with the remote work situation. That really exacerbates any sort of data management situation as you have really unauthorized use of software and data really coming into the organization. So that's one thing that you have to consider in this situation particularly that perhaps was not accounted for um, going into the situation. Another thing that has happened with implementation is that organizations are expecting very quick wins and that can lead to a certain sort short-sightedness. Organizations are looking for immediate outcomes and that can result in overlooking the data management practices that are needed for successful long-term strategy. And that's something that can really um, undermine the organization's efforts long-term. Now, as organizations try to get more strategic with their strategy, given the current situation, they start to look more at collaborative capabilities. So, as remote work becomes more common and perhaps even more long-term in a lot of these situations, how are you going to use technology, including data management technology, that facilitates a remote workforce? How are, how are people going to collaborate? How are they going to effectively communicate 
using this technology just like they would have in an office. And secondly, looking at long-term value. It's not really about upfront price tag. You know, how is this going to fit into the organization and result in ROI rather than just an immediate low cost? Um, looking at those long-term factors that may be harder to calculate. So again, going back to data management, it's about not just, um, not just the price tag, but also about the collaborative capabilities, how well it fits into the organizational culture, and also that long-term value, um, being able to fit all of those things together.